Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In my last video, I shared how I prepped for my son's very first birthday party. We did a construction party theme and reused a lot of Aubrey's third birthday party supplies because we were also celebrating my birthday and I wanted to take it a little bit easier on myself. So that was my last video. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already, but in this video, we are going to be cleaning up after the party. I hope you enjoy. So to start, we're just going to kind of vacuum mop the main little area that got really dirty during the party. We still don't have grass in our backyard, and so there's just a lot of dirt that gets tracked in for any get-together, and it got pretty bad because it was rainy recently, and so it was just extra muddy, and our floor was disgusting. So I just wanted to start by getting that our floor nice and clean before we did anything else. Now, like I mentioned, we were also celebrating my birthday, so I didn't really want to do a lot of the cleanup because I kind of felt like of all the parties, this should be the one that I kind of take it easier. So Juan did help out a lot. He did like a lot of the dishes. So you don't see me doing them in this video, but I do kind of take down the rest of the stuff over the course of the week just because I wanted to appreciate the balloon arch, all of the work that I spent on the decorations, and that is why it's like all not happening all at once and why I'm not doing as much in this video as I might in any other party cleanup videos. But here I'm just vacuuming the couch because I kind of feel like after any big party, it's like my time to vacuum the couch, get any of that you know, dirt that kind of came in off our furniture and just give it a nice little refresh. Once we get grass, I don't know if I'm going to still feel the urge to do this as often, but for now, I think, you know, this, it's a good little time or a reminder for me to clean our couch, vacuum it up after every birthday party in our home. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So it's the next day and I thought I would just kind of finish vacuuming the little areas that, you know, weren't going to be continuing to track dirt around. So I pulled out this little bench and discovered even more mess, but it's very satisfying in my opinion to watch this get vacuumed up and mopped at the same time. And then we're just going to be putting away a lot of the lingering construction party themed decorations and I'm actually going to be saving them just in case I ever want to throw another construction party in the future. I might as well, you know, make use of all of the prep that I have done for previous parties as well as this one. So 
So to hang these little signs on our wall, I used some like double-sided sticky tape circles that are used for the balloon arch and just put it on the back of the paper and then stuck that onto blue painter's tape so that our walls wouldn't get messed up. And I like this method because if I were to use the painter's tape and roll it in a loop, sometimes, you know, the, the boards stick out and it just, in my opinion, it doesn't lay as flush to the wall. So that is one of the techniques that I like to use. But like I said, I'm packing away these supplies to use in the future if that is something that Jack desires. So now I'm going to go ahead and take down the balloon arch and as some of you guys requested you wanted me to go a little bit slower and you wanted to hear the pops so here we go. really satisfying to do so I hope you guys enjoyed that let's get back to finishing and wrapping up taking down this party Damage the fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're so I shared in my last video how I am reusing this little table skirt that I made out of little plastic table covers, and I made it for my Halloween party. Thought it would fit the theme of this party, and I'm still it's still in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna tuck it away and see if I can use it at least one more time to make use of my hard work and the time that it took to make that table skirt. So here you can kind of see a lot of the remaining sticky residue that was left after I peeled away that vinyl design, but that is nothing a little bit of glass cleaner cannot fix. So I just sprayed a little bit and wiped the rest down with a paper towel and my glass board was good as new. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. Like I mentioned, Juan really did help with a lot of the party cleanup, giving me a well-needed break for my birthday. And I would like to thank you guys for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new and check out my party prep video if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.